Treehouse Foods is exploring options for its business, but I have a transformative idea that they likely hadn't considered yet. For those that aren't too deep in the CPG world, I should probably start at explaining who the heck Treehouse Foods is. Treehouse Foods is the nation's largest packaged food and beverage private label manufacturer and distributor that serves various sales retail channels like grocery, club and wholesale, food service, restaurant, e-commerce, and it was founded in 2005 when the specialty food division of Dean Foods spun off into its own publicly traded company, and it's grown over the last 16 or so years through about 40 mergers and acquisition deals. Most notably, they acquired the private label business from Conagra Brands, also the soup business from Del Monte Foods, and then Sturm Foods, and that's just to name a few. Treehouse Foods is now a $4.3 billion business that ranks them right outside the Fortune 500 largest companies. It focuses on two business segments at this point, snacking and beverages and food preparation. Within those business segments, they produce products in categories like pretzels, refrigerated dough, non-dairy creamer, crackers, hot cereal, broth, portable dressing, powdered drinks, snack bars, liquid beverages, and so on and so forth to dozens of other categories. And they have about three dozen or so manufacturing distribution facilities across North America. A fun fact is that Michelle Obama was actually a board of director member from 2005 to 2007. And why I'm kind of bringing that up is that it will play an important part later on in this content. But this all sounds great, right? I mean, it seems like things are going pretty well at Treehouse Foods. Why would they be going through a strategic review of their business at this point? Well, since the current CEO, Stephen Oakland, took over in the first quarter of 2018, he has made a ton of like aggressive changes in the business to try to overhaul the massive private label packaged food and beverage company, like closing several of its plants, minimizing its SKUs, cutting jobs, and even abandoning certain business units. And all of this to become a more focused and nimble company. But despite all of those moves, the stock price since Stephen Oakland took over to current rate is really unchanged. Nothing has really moved the needle at this point. So that's why activist investor Jana Partners took a sizable Treehouse food stake in January of 2021. They stated that the company was undervalued and represented an attractive investment opportunity. It also stated that the company should consider a sale of its business and had plans to nominate directors to Treehouse Foods board. For those that maybe are not aware of who Jana Partners is, they have a long record of advocating for change at companies that it considers undervalued, and in many cases, it's been successful at triggering a sale. Most notably, and within adjacent industries of Treehouse Foods, we've seen them pressure Whole Foods Market to sell to Amazon and also pressure Pinnacle Foods to sell to Conagra Brands. So now that the kind of year-long strategic review has commenced, what have they really kind of set forth and said is going to be their efforts to appease the activist investor Jana Partners. This is around potentially selling off the whole business or just selling off a large portion of the meal preparation segment. So just to kind of look at both of those options a little bit deeper, if we look at the complete sale, the only acquirer that I could see working out with the complete sale of Treehouse Foods would be a private equity company. I don't really see a large strategic CPG brand or anything wanting to have such a large scale complicated business within their portfolio, but it would be extremely interesting to see maybe a very large grocery retailer or a wholesale club that is doing a ton of business already with Treehouse Foods, something like a Costco or an Amazon, a Walmart, a Kroger, a Target that do billions and billions and billions of dollars already in their private label brands, go in and purchase a company like Treehouse Foods and vertically integrate their company 
to a extreme level. It'd be very unlikely, but it would be extremely interesting to see a company like that make a play at Treehouse Foods. And then the other option, probably the more likely option, would be around the divesture of a large portion of their meal preparation business. And while that would position Treehouse Foods in a more kind of high growth, trendy area of snacking and beverages. The meal preparation side of Treehouse Foods makes up about 63% of the 2021 sales so far. And eliminating a lot of that would deprive the business of key commodity manufacturing and retail synergies that come with producing so many different products. Now, something that Treehouse Foods did not talk about in terms of their strategic review and maybe had never even came to their mind is something that I'm going to suggest next. And this is an idea that I've tossed around a number of different ways throughout my content over the years. And this is about connecting the contract manufacturer to consumer model, attaching a brand development division, and looking to create strategic partnerships with celebrity or influencer type personalities. This is already unofficially happening across the United States. You're starting to see more CPG brands being fronted by major celebrities, influencers, and personalities. And in my opinion, really, if you can match up the right celebrity with the right product and have all of the strategies aligned together, it really creates a truly powerful asset in the market right now that is almost unmatched. Now, I want to give an assist to Mark Ruger, a freelance consultant from Germany that brought up the idea of Hollywood House Foods on a November 2021 Twitter exchange. Would this possibly satisfy Jana Partners? Unknown because it's extremely wild and honestly probably unlikely, but the managing partner Barry Rosenstein has said his V-cubed activist strategy wants a variety of ways to win going on to say that you need to have more than one strategy to enhance value. Regardless, I wanted to explore this Hollywood House Foods idea a bit more. The thesis of this would really surround the business development strategic partnership arm going out and trying to really maximize the equation of right product, right celebrity, that equals success. And for this to make any type of meaningful impact to a company the size of Treehouse Foods, we wouldn't need to be going after like A-list celebrities or influencers or personalities, anyone that has a huge amount of attention in today's economy. These are where we're going to focus the attention and where it's going to make the most meaningful impact to the business. The hope is that you would be able to operate with a little bit better of a margin environment because you would be able to have the celebrity markup. And I'm obviously simplifying this whole idea, but with that being the core of the strategy, what are some of the right product, right celebrity type combinations that could work out really well for this Hollywood house foods concept? The first one I wanna talk about is Justin Bieber, and he has already kind of had collabs with a company like Tim Hortons, and he's already taken advantage of the kind of attention around his Peaches song with a cannabis line, but what about his self-proclaimed pasta obsession? Move over Bertolli's because Bieber is making a line of premium pasta Italian food products. Another one would be Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's already kind of a monster in the beverage CPG side of the industry and has proven he's had a ton of success in that world. But it's time for him to capitalize on his epic cheat meals that usually revolve around peanut butter French toast and pancakes. Another obvious celebrity to try to bring into the Hollywood house foods concept would be Kim Kardashian. I don't know if you caught the recent episode of Cooking with Paris Hilton that Kim Kardashian was on, but she actually can hold her own in the kitchen. I was actually pretty surprised by that. And it seems the reality star is now eating a mostly vegan diet. So tons of opportunity to make a premium plant-based packaged food brand around Kim Kardashian. Another celebrity that would work out extremely well would be Selena Gomez. She's another mega star that's jumped into some cooking content with her HBO Max show, Selena Plus Chef. Is she the new version of Rachel Ray that's made a fortune from her food empire? 
I think so. And then kind of taking a shift away from a traditional celebrity and maybe into an entrepreneurial celebrity is Elon Musk. And I'm going to shy away from human food and into dog food for a second to allow Elon Musk to leverage his love of Shiba Inu dogs that has a cultural phenomenon with cryptocurrency investors that hang on his every meme-worthy tweet about Dogecoin and Shiba Inu coins. Another major celebrity that would be a great addition to the Hollywood House Foods concept would be Taylor Swift. She dubs herself as a big cooking person that often shows off her baking on her social media account. So why not have a line of packaged bakery items that fans can recreate at home while listening to her albums? You can't have a Hollywood concept without Oprah Winfrey, and she's had a truffle obsession since 2008 when Lisa Marie Presley sent her a gift basket full of food items that include truffle salt. It's time to turn that truffle it's time to turn being a truffle freak into a successful revenue stream for Oprah. Another mega influencer personality that has the attention of the world right now is Mr. Beast. The mega YouTuber Jimmy Donaldson has already capitalized on the ghost kitchen celebrity trend with opening Mr. Beast Burgers with Robert Earl, the owner of restaurant concepts like Earl of Sandwich, Boco de Peppo, and Brio Italian. So why not take that momentum and move them into packaged items? Now I couldn't talk about the Hollywood House Foods idea without bringing up Michelle Obama. As I said before, she was a board member of Treehouse Foods, so she is a likely candidate to be included into this new concept. And she recently did a food show on Netflix called Waffles and Mochi, a children's lineup of foods that parallel the show would be a major hit. Another kind of major hit with a concept around kids cooking with their parents would be to leverage Disney Eats. They have a cookbook that is modeled after the popular YouTube series, but how can they package up the offerings into easy kits for children and parents to enjoy cooking and baking together? The opportunity is there with adding the huge Disney intellectual property catalog. And I just want to end on some final thoughts. Fortune favors the bold and increasingly the many celebrities that have jumped into the packaged food and beverage CPG space. The success stories are plentiful, so why not add a vertical integration partner that has a lot of success in the areas that maybe these celebrity-owned or celebrity-backed brands maybe don't, and create a structure that would allow more celebrities to monetize their brands through food and beverage CPG. Plus, Treehouse Foods could really use a little bit of that Hollywood sparkle to add some excitement back into its business. If you enjoyed this YouTube video, hit that like button for me. If you want to support me even further, I would love if you hit the subscribe button. I have a short-term goal of hitting 2,000 subscribers and almost 70% of you that are watching this YouTube video right now are not subscribed to my video. That is improving over the last period, but it still makes me sad. But I just want to thank you for watching this YouTube video, and I'll see you on the next one.